Welcome to another episode of the Proscope Magnifier. I'm Peter White. This episode I'm going to be talking about the 100 power and 200 power lenses which are used for the Proscope HR and the Proscope HR2, our USB models, as well as the Proscope Mobile, our Wi-Fi model. Now this is the 100 power lens and it may say M100 on your lens. It's different in that it has a light gathering globe here at the end. The field of view is much more narrow. You can see a hole right down in there and that's where the actual lens uh, looks through. The rest of this is just to allow the LEDs to light up the subject area and this is the focus ring. So when you get into 100 power, 200, 400 power, it's always good because this is a narrow field of view to first line it up on something and then adjust the focus so it comes in nice and sharp so then you can take it to other subjects and know that all you have to do is just tweak it a little bit. So here's the leaf. Now I'm using this with the light so it's reflective view right now but I'm going to show non-reflective. You can see more of that leaf than you would be with the uh, 50 or the 30 or certainly the 10. And using our penny as the reference back to Lincoln and the Lincoln Memorial and you can see he's much bigger. Now I'm going to turn the light off and on the Proscope Mobile which is our Wi-Fi unit that's just switching it to the A position because the B position lights those LEDs. I'm going to turn it off and I'm using our Logan Slim Edge light pad which I love because this thing is AC and DC power. You can take it anywhere out in the field and be able to view slides or any translucent materials. Here's a fly and of course I have the light off so all I'm using is the backlit light source just like you would use with a traditional microscope. So this is really a good starter for uh, microorganisms. This is the 200 power lens. Like the 100 power it has a clear globe at the end and it has the focus ring right here. And you can actually see the cell structure in there those individual cells quite easily and I'm using this reflective view right now. Now I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to use our Logan light pad and here is the fly at 200 power with that and this is the 200 power lens. This is what you would want to use to look at plankton or any microorganisms and again the focus ring right here is what I always do is first focus it on a known area and then adjust the focus so it comes nice and sharp so then when I move it to another subject all I have to do is just tweak it just a little bit. This is the 200 power lens for the Proscope HR, HR2 and the Proscope Mobile, our Wi-Fi model. Hopefully I answered your questions. If not, please email me. I'd be happy to discuss these lenses further with you. Uh, also send me your suggestions for upcoming episodes uh, and if you have a video of how you're using your Proscope We'd love to have you on the Proscope Magnifier. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, tweet, and thanks very much for taking the time out of your busy week to watch the Proscope Magnifier. I'm Peter White. We'll see you again.